Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the last of my goodies buried under the trailer and boxes and this is an old valve cover. I have restored this with some new plastic bits. I uh, resealed the original oil cap and of course resealed everything else. Got another gasket under here. Gonna install this today. Um, this is off a of 91 so it's not an 06. It's different. Jeep used a CCV system on basically every 4.0 out there so it's not a PCV it's a CCV which is consistent ventilation see here there's a tiny little pinhole and that's what it is just consistently doing it it's a Chrysler thing uh, this little baffle plate goes right here kind of help keep the oil from getting sucked out and then there's this here this is the suction side this is where crankcase vapors would go out from the factory this one's got a hole drilled in the back I'm gonna shorten it up a little bit because the farther you keep it from the oil, the less likely it's going to suck it in. This side is the intake side. I'm going to keep it low. That way it actually does what it's supposed to do. So that one I'm not trimming. Only trimming one. This is what the other side looks like. As you can see, there's just... It's straight air. That's air in. Clean air in from your air box. Wherever you pick it from. So I am going to start by chopping this thing up. Modifying it. Making it correct. Honestly, it'd probably be fine, but we're gonna mod it. All right, you can talk to the, if you talk to the internet, they're gonna tell you this needs to be one inch shorter. That much, which still hasn't to do. I almost just want to try it, go back in and modify it later. If it's a problem. All right. Well, I just struggle to believe what I read on the internet, so I have to try things myself before I I run off and you know tr trim it. Once I trim it, it's trimmed. All right. I could take it back off later and do it if I don't think it's working. I think most of your crankcase vents going to go right through this hole here. I don't, I mean, there's, there is not going to be enough suction through that tiny pinhole to, to want to make that. Yeah. No, I think that is going to be fine. Stick that together and we're going to run it. Okay. So I have two of these. This is the front one. This is for venting. It lets air in. This is the replacement one. Now, I, I did practice on this one, just kind of with a pair of a knife and broke it, but I can put it in there, reverse, because this elbow points the wrong way, and still twist it, and it works. So i got to modify this one real quick to fit. Okay, so here's my modified product here, and you can see inside there there's a shield. That's a deflector there. So the hopes is that as oil comes up, it hits it, and it just kind of runs back down. In the past, this thing inserted this way, and it rotated to the right, just like that, and it went to the intake on an XJ or a YJ that's on the driver's side. For me, I want it to go the other way, so now I can go that direction. And voila, it goes to my airbox. So I'm good. In case anyone is wondering, I did check the metering holes and they're the same size. A little bit different, this one's metering hole is way up here and this one's at the bottom. Here is the old setup right here. You can see this tube, I accidentally cracked it. I think that's from the other day. I was changing my air filter, took it off. I'm gonna need another one of those. This is the, uh, the newer version, the steel stamped valve cover. Uh, it works fine, they put a uh, baffle system in the top of it so it's it's a much better baffle system but it's not serviceable you can't clean it so long as you've taken care of your engine you shouldn't have to but uh, yeah we're gonna pull that all off and put on the new your first guess might be that these are a 10 millimeter but you'd be wrong they're an 11 Well, I got all my bolts pulled, and in a perfect world, this would just come right out. But I do not live in a perfect world. It's gonna take a little persuading, I think. There we go. A little flat blade screwdriver helped. Cables. Maybe a little more. 
on flat blade. Maybe pull the injector harness out of the way. And the heat shield out of the way. Just get everything out of the way. Just, just do better. That's what I'm hearing. Just do better. No one said it would be easy. Okay, well I got that off of there. I'm going to clean this up real good before going back on with the valve cover. Here's the old valve cover. As you can see, the oil fill port right here in the center, accessible via oil. And then it's got these little grooves all along the edge. It's where gases would go up and around or oil would run down and over. I've got an old gasket versus new gasket comparison here. They've got their differences, like the, the new style here. This has seals that go around the bolts. The old ones did not, but these also had grommets here. So, just, uh, you know, change in design over the years. Probably the biggest battle here. Accept. Accept the new way. This is, this is a beefier cover. <laughs> and this engine harness is limited on room. So. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fight me to the death. It's basically there. Minus my fingers. sure things fit correctly. Lots of clearance. Okay, after a serious struggle, snuggle, and a couple of modifications to the old valve cover with the grinder, we are in. I just gotta clean up everything around it. All right, that wraps up the project. Everything is sorted and looks nice, other than this hose that I clearly need to replace. I'll go grab one. It all looks good. I'm going to build a bracket to support that cable system since it's kind of just floating there. And otherwise, we're good to go. Excited. Okay, I have run this and I did finish it up. I found uh, I bought some hose and then I got some plastic tube I found and I tried to I, I tried to heat it up and bend it, but it just wanted to kink. So, yeah, there's uh that's my completed setup. It's nice and snug. Um, and I've ran it and it works good. All right, well, I'm about done thinking around here. That's my uh, aluminum valve cover, kind of like they used to run back in the day. Everybody had the Mickey Thompsons and the custom aluminum valve covers. It was, it was a thing to have. So I'm kind of stuck in the past, I guess. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, uh, maybe I can put a parts list down below and help you guys do a project yourself. Something. I don't know. But uh, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you on the next one.